Bill Binder, Binder Stash, Whiskey Wednesday, and we're out here on the course at 9.45 in the morning doing a review. Way out west in South Florida, so it's really, really hot. Should have not have worn pants, but I did. But it's neither here nor there now. T minus three days until the kickoff to filming the first season of Binder Stash. I'm excited. I've been working on my vocabulary, my linguistical skills. I've been doing my word pronunciation in the mirror, which involves me quoting famous movie lines. Do you do drugs, Danny? Every day. Good. This guy's the out you've been waiting your whole life for. Excuse me, your wife's on my whammo. What's in the box? Who's the baddest? Show love! And singing Van Halen, any song, doesn't matter. But I've lost a bunch of weight since the last time you saw me. I have an app for my abs. Been working on it, I'm trying to look sexy. Sweating profusely, it's the first hole. I'm gonna hit this wedge. We're gonna talk about Weller Antique 107, one of my favorites. The Sazerac Company, Buffalo Trace Distillery, home run, but you already knew that. So, get out of my way, let me hit this ball, and we'll talk about it. Weller Antique 107. Originally from the Stitzel Weller Distilling Company, but was sold off to Sazerac, I think in 1999. Um, William LaRue Weller was a distiller at the Stitzel Weller Distillery from 1825 to 1899. I'm gonna guess, but he was credited as supposedly the first distiller to create the weeded bourbon, which is why Weller Antique 107 is a weeder. Most bourbons, 51% corn obviously, but they do rye as well and, and other things. But the weeded bourbon is predominantly 51% corn, but it's wheat. It's all wheat after that, which makes it very, very smooth. Now, the original Weller Antique 107 I think it's a shade under seven years old, but this is a barrel pick from our buddy, Bourbon Buddy. Thank you very much, man. I greatly appreciate the gift. We're gonna get down to uh, brass tacks, breaking this down, and uh, can't wait to taste it. All right. The squirrels, <coughs> I think the squirrels are throwing egg corns at us. They were. Like farmer's insurance. Whatever. So, Ross, thank you. Diplomatico, Cuba. Great. Pairs well with this bad boy. Burn buddy. Thank you. I really appreciate this. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for following us on this fantastic voyage. Now this barrel pick says a shade over seven years, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not that good as I could tell the difference between seven years and seven years, four months. That's like whole another level type, blow your mind. But. I can honestly say that I would drink this over Old Rip 10. I would drink this over Old Rip 12. Shit, I would drink a bunch of things over Pappy 15. I'm not talking shit about Buffalo Trace. I love most of their products. I'm an anti-Pappy guy. It's just who I am. Uh, I think their uh, antique collection line is 100 times better than the Pappy line, you know? All of it's the same juice here, there, some way, some form, some shape, but, you know, I think the BTAC line, the William LaRue Weller, which is, which is the father of the Weller line, William LaRue Weller, uh, that's part of the, the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. That's another one of my absolute favorites. 107, 
you know you're hitting that golden proof right there where it's gonna taste really, really good. You're gonna have a lot of flavor. For seven years, they have a lot of oak in it. I don't know how they do it, but they magically did it somehow because that distillery is just magical, I guess. So, hit the shot, then we're gonna taste, and we're gonna go from there. Is everybody excited for Binder Stash to start filming? Did everybody check the schedule to see when we're gonna be in your neck of the woods? I'll tell you what, when we go to Texas, that BSR cable park, I'm gonna hurt myself there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get to it. Oh, man. Barrel 122910, picked 11818, bottled 51618, aged seven year, four months, 18 days, yield 192 bottles. Hmm. So. Vanilla, caramel. Butterscotch, a little bit of oak, you know, the normal weeded weller you're getting. Sweet on the front palate. Whole. Get that caramel, you get that butterscotch, you get leather, you get cinnamon, nutmeg. In there. <coughs> ah, so, rookie mistake there. I breathed in, it went down my <coughs> breathing tube. 107 proof whiskey down your windpipe. Man, that was harsh. It's not that it's not good, it just really hurt. So, the mid palate, the front end I'm getting sweet, 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 which is good. You know, uh, the butterscotch, getting the caramel, I'm getting cinnamon. Mid palate, it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter until right in the back end. <clears throat> it's what I like. Man, that pot, it's a lingerer too. So good. Get a little bit of oak in there. I smell it more than I taste it, but definitely get it on the back end. So good. This is a great battle pick. Cleveland Bourbon Club. Bourbon buddy. Thank you for this. This is amazing. I'm a little hurt right now, right here. Whew, man, I'm sweating. <laughs> all in all, a great bourbon barrel pick. Love it. Love those weeded bourbons. Love W.O. Weller. <sighs> I love the antique collection. I love everything. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna embark on an adventure starting this Saturday. We're gonna be all over this damn country, bringing it to you. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be informal. You're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good time. Everybody's gonna have a good time. I hope to see you in your city. Bill Bender at Bender Stash. Remember, always enjoy what you drink, as long as it doesn't go down your windpipe.